Happy August 3rd, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 Quest Calendar, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy survived a final assault by the Phoenix Guardian, who, in the end, like the other ancient guardians, wound up defeating herself when she hit her head, knocked herself unconscious, and fell off the cliff. And that is where we left things, so let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. After a moment of silence and believing the Phoenix Guardian is dead, Aurelia emerges anew after being reborn. Transformed into a much smaller form, she perches atop a pillar. The golden drops of divinity descend from the heavens, casting their luminous radiance upon the peak. Congratulations, says Aurelia. You have rightfully earned these. Now venture forth as a guardian in your own right. Whoa. Okay, we've been promoted. <laughs> um, we are now a guardian. Uh, not an ancient guardian, I suppose. But here we are. Okay, uh, we're going to take a rest and take the golden drops of divinity. Uh, take a rest. Restore your health to full. Oh, that's good. We were down to 16. Um, so we're back to 23. Move these out of the way. We've got our boon die. Um, what else? Restore the health of all party members. I do believe somebody took some damage along the way. Where's our party? Yeah, Vinny. Oh, and Tank. Vinny and Tank both contributed to the cause somewhere along the way. These do not erase as easily as I would hope. Okay. Um, that's everybody. Uh, what else do we got? Regain all expended uses of abilities. Regain all spell points. Remove the poison condition. Change your equipment. We don't have any extra equipment. Change your party members. Oh, we could put Sky back in the party, but... I suppose. They don't actually leave your party. I forgot about that. I think we're okay, though. And the sticker is kind of a one-use thing. <laughs> so, uh, remove a single negative modifier caused by a wound. We don't have any of those. Um, okay, two, take the golden drops of divinity. The brilliant light finally fades as you reach out to take it. If your virtue, uh, Ivy's virtue is five. If your virtue is more than three, as you are holding the drops, you feel a brief moment of pure blessed beauty in the world. Excellent. Well, um, oh, it is uh, Saturday and Sunday, so we can do the Sunday lottery. Uh, we're out here somewhere in the windless peaks atop a mountain. And let's see what happens. Um, oh, where's my six-sided die? These are my cards of nonsense because <laughs> I don't know how else we explain uh, playing the lottery in the middle of nowhere. But here we go, five. Somebody taps us on the shoulder. When we turn to look, it is a goblin again. <laughs> we get a lot of goblins. Uh, and uh, wearing an ugly, ugly Christmas sweater with the words Sunday Lottery knitted in. We've encountered this fellow before. He's got a box with a slot in it. We can put two amber in, and we roll, and then we open the box. We roll, oh, we roll to see what's inside. That is, that is the best result, I think, inside our six amber. If I recall the rules correctly, which are somewhere here. Uh, lottery, lottery, lottery. Here it is. Gain four amber. So yeah, we get the, uh, we get the two put that we put in, and we get four more. So we gain four total amber. So we're up to thirty-seven amber. Excellent. That is by far the best result. <laughs> uh, that, or I should say, that's the first time I think we've gotten the best result uh, from the lottery. So. That, my friends, is August 3rd and 4th. So 
we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again on Monday. I hope you will join us. Thanks for watching.